Okay, so I got home this afternoon and this was waiting for me in the mail. It is what I've been waiting for. I pre-ordered it back in June from the H.P. Lovecraft Historical Society. It was uh, a birthday present to me. It's the latest edition of their Dark Adventure Radio Theater programs. Um, I pre-ordered it for my birthday and I'm going to open it and see what's inside. Here's the receipt that they always uh, that they always send with it. I always like the I like this with the I like the font that they use for the old-fashioned typewriter with the old-fashioned in the style of the old-fashioned typewriters. They I asked them one time what it what the uh, Font it was and where they got it, and they they told me what it was, but uh, I forgot. I'll have to ask them again because I think it's really neat. And here it is. Dark Adventure Radio Theater presents H.P. Lovecraft's Dagon: War of Worlds. And they always have the cool sticker on the side there. What is this one? It's. Uh, Worldwide wireless news. Looks like an old style microphone. They each have a different the seals for their CDs. They always have a different different style. Uh, the color from outer space one had the had the meteor. Um, the shadow over Innsmouth had the seal of the secret order of Dagon and. Uh, Dunwich Horror had a sticker for the uh, a library sticker for Miskatonic University in the restricted section. And here on the back, they said if you pre-ordered it, you could get. Uh, they always they always send these little props and uh, little add-ons with the CD. It gives it a more a more sense of authenticity and realism and they said if you pre-ordered it you would get an extra exclusive uh, fourth prop and this must be it right here so I'm gonna open it up and uh, see what else is in here here's what it says on the on the back here one of HP Lovecraft's favorite tales as it might have been presented on the radio when it was written the HPLHS takes the thrilling sounds of yesteryear and brings them up to date in this all original dramatic adaptation. Dagon, War of Worlds. And here it says the exclusive bonus documents inside a memo from the U.S. Navy about a certain incident in the South Pacific. A clipping from the Portsmouth Daily Herald with certain shocking details. The prison record of a certain member of the esoteric order of Dagon. A top secret document, a top secret government document smuggled out of a certain fascist European country. And this is the exclusive pre ordered fourth document Reed Studio Priority. Says Bulletin Marseilles, France. 19th of October, masked gang terrorizes French seaport. A group of masked individuals was the cause of damage, damaged goods, and panic in the French seaport of Marseilles today. The gang of some 8 to 12 individuals was first sighted coming up from the wharf side near Marseilles, Guidou, Maroc, 
That's in French, I guess. <coughs> The masked thugs made their way to the stall of a local bookseller where they proceeded to ransack his wares. The merchant, they crossed out bookseller and put merchant, fled the scene, and but the destruction of his bookstall was complete. Okay. Local gendarme, Zan, gendarme. I know how to say gendarme. You don't have to put, spell it out for me. Local gendarme Antoine Dardenay reported that he got a good view of the hooligans. Through an interpreter, he said, There were too many of them, so I used my whistle to call for help. Their costumes were very strange. Masks like fish. Or frogs. Some of them could barely walk in them and shuffled down the road. According to Darnay, the masked thugs made quick work of destroying the bookstall before returning to the wharf where they must have jumped into waiting boats. The, in the incident was actually quite frightening. We are all relieved that no one was hurt. Yes, that was my lousy French accent. I apologize to all the fine, upstanding French people out there. Chief Descalon Pierre Lagri. Lagui? Yeah, Lagai, Lagui. Lagui, okay. Attributed the violence to Croate. Revolutionaries marking the anniversary of the assassinations of King Alexander of Yugoslavia and French Foreign Minister Louis Bartou in Marseilles. There's nothing to which there's nothing to which these revolutionaries will not stoop. We may not understand. An end quote said Lagui. We may not understand. The symbolism of today's bizarre act, but the public can be assured that these crimes will not be will not go unpunished. Confirmation. Get connection pending. Get whatever that guy's name is on the line. Worldwide wireless teleprinter bulletin. They always do such a good job on these little props and documents that they cut, that they put in with the audios. Very authentic. They do a really good job. Gives it a gives it a good sense of realism, authenticity. Well, let's let's dig in and see what else is in here. This is new. Spoiler alert. We have packed the bonus props for this episode inside the linear notes because they contain plot spoilers. To preserve some of the surprises, we recommend that you listen to the show before enjoying the documents within. Well, they never done, they've never done this before. This is new. Best wishes from all of us at Dark Adventure Radio Theater. If I could just take a peek at them. I won't read them out to you or anything. Let's take a peek and see what's in here. It's, oh yeah, they always, they're always good for these newspaper articles. They always have these little faux newspaper headlines. And they're printed on actual newspaper print paper, too. Sometimes, you know, they, they, re, they have the main headline that pertains to the story. But sometimes I just like to look at the other articles, the other little newspaper articles and sometimes the ads go it, it all it, there's that word it, it all goes back to authenticity it gives you a real sense of October Thursday October 19th 1935 today's almanac partly cloudy skies high temperature 58 degrees Fahrenheit low temperature 36 degrees Fahrenheit sunrise 748 a.m. Sunset 6.36 p.m. Undersea attacks. Uh, 
and that pertains to the story. Riot at the naval, six killed in Navy shootout. That's whatever that is. Fire destroys sawmill, no injuries reported. And here's another. Here's something. Here's a message from the Navy Department in Washington approved for release as amended. L. Howie. Okay. Thanks for approving this. Thanks for amending this, Howie. To F. to Franklin D. Roosevelt, the White House, Washington. Subject USS Raleigh. And this is Warden's record from Alcatraz. Okay. And this is document whatever that is I think it's in I think it's German yeah it's in German This must be the translation on the back. So here's all the props that were included in the CD. This is the German report, and this is this is the prisoner record from Alcatraz and the newspaper clipping and the teletype about the in incident in France. And see, it says free bonus prop. Bonus, bonus prop. In addition to the prop documents contained in this jewel case, we've prepared an entire newspaper as a companion prop to the episode which covers all the events of the story, plus a great deal more. We think, we think you'll enjoy it, and you can find it here. That's, that's what that, wait a minute. Is that a separate thing, or... Oh, this must be a different one. This must be a separate one than this one, obviously, by the look of it. I'll have to check it out and see what it is. And if you want to order this, you can go to the store at CthulhuLives.org. You can get this and... Oh, well, this must be it right here. This must be what it looks like. The the newspaper. Worldwide marine attack. Amphibious creatures strike every corner of the globe. The scenes of disaster throughout the Bay Area. They always do such a good job on these things. I love these things. They're just so... They just really go all out. Not just with the... Not just with the props and everything, but with the, the audio dramas too. Just it's it's very professionally done, and it's it's done in the style of the old time radio shows like Inner Sanctum and Lights Out. They always do. They always they really they really go out go all out in the in these radio dramas, and I'm very impressed. I'm always impressed. Every time I get one. Let's see who's this is the cast. I wonder if Erskine Blackwell announces this one. He's always he always does a good job. Whoever whoever plays Erskine Blackwell does a good job. Oh, we got a jingle for bubble pep, whatever that is. 
they always have these sponsors that uh, they do the ads for before they they start the show. It's just like an old radio program, and it and it's fun. It really is. And there's the uh, H.P. Lovecraft Soci Historical Society and the website, CthulhuLives.org. And be sure to check them out. They do good stuff.